remember to. Uh, the situation in our region is unfortunately deteriorating and you see what is uh, happening around us and we see uh, Belarus uh, just swallowed into the Russian Federation and we see that uh, Belarus is becoming additional threat, additional factor of insecurity in the region. So this is the reason why we ask the NATO, we ask our strongest ally United States to pay a consistent atten attention to the security of our region and I think the NATO summit which takes place uh, in Vilnius in absolutely near proximity to adversary countries. This is symbolic event, symbolic, but also at the same time, this is a great opportunity to take the bold decisions and we expect that they will be done. Uh, this is very important to mention that we already have this Vilnius uh, meeting as historical one, even before it started, because the membership of Sweden is already the, the, on, on, on the table and uh, I think we will welcome the 32nd member of NATO very soon. We have regional defense plans approved and uh, now it's important that they become executable by the end of this year. With repositioning, with assigned forces. We uh, are probably, Lithuania is one of the most enthusiastic supporters of transatlantic bond in Europe, in the European Union, because we think that uh, your participation, your attention is extremely important in this field of geopolitical uncertainty. And uh, at the same time, Lithuania is uh, intending to buy, uh, uh, to acquire military equipment from the United States, and I would like to mention Black Hawks. Uh, also, we uh, intend to buy Hymers, JLTBs, Oshkosh, and all this military equipment that helps us to modernize our military forces. At the same time, we closely cooperating with Germany and recently the very good decision was announced by Defense Minister Boris Pistorius to um, scale up the forward presence of EFP country Germany in Lithuania up to brigade size on a permanent basis. So I think it would be very positive to welcome this decision and welcome the um, engagement of all uh, EFP countries in the region to increase the forward presence in our, in our region. So, Mr. President, thank you so much for your participation in our NATO summit. I am looking forward to closely cooperate with you and with our colleagues during these two days. I am looking forward to uh, to be able to listen to your speech tomorrow in Vilnius University. It will be another historical moment for Lithuania and all the Lithuanian people greet you so warmly. Even uh, Vilnius, you see, it's a little bit empty right now, but this is because of security restrictions and some people decided to leave the city just to, have, uh, to avoid some inconveniences. But, you know, in our hearts, from bottom of our hearts. We welcome your uh, visit, we welcome your arrival, and we are looking forward to cooperate with the United States in the, in the future. Well, Mr. President, thank you for the welcome. Thank you, Chief, as well. You know, uh, it's great to be back in the US. I was here in 2014 as Vice President, shortly after the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the first time. And uh, at the time, talked about what I thought Russia was like to do. Some people were somewhat skeptical of my judgment at the time. And uh, unfortunately, it turned out to be accurate. And uh, the United States is here today to uh, reaffirm our commitment to NATO, but also to Vilnius. Look, we, uh, we go back a long way. Uh, and the, uh, when uh, we were committed to Lithuania and to the Baltics and, and to NATO, I remember, uh, you may recall, when we were having the debate United States Senate about enlarging NATO, and I was arguing very strongly that the Baltics should all be part of NATO. And, uh, and, very, very and uh, our pledge.
privilege to, uh, to be with you. It has not wavered. It didn't take us long to get thousands of troops here. When Russia invaded the second time, we'll be able to be assured that we're going to have all that we need. If we have the Secretary of Defense today, we can send him along. He's not walking in the side. And look, as I've said before, uh, we take, NATO takes, all of us take, Article 5, literally. One inch of NATO territory means we're all, we're all on war together against whomever is violating that space. And we're going to defend every inch of it. And I want to thank you, Mr. President, for hosting this historic summit at an important time. The first time that NATO leaders will meet the 31 together, and looking forward to meeting very soon, with 32 members, with the addition of Sweden. The leader of Sweden was just in my Oval Office not long ago, and we were hoping this would occur when it did, and I'm confident we'll get that done today. And uh, in the coming days, we're also going to discuss a range of issues, uh, how to strengthen NATO's eastern flank, and, and modernize NATO's deterrence and defense capabilities, and we're going to be doing it in a place uh, where those, uh, those efforts truly matter every single solitary day. And we're also going to discuss our support for the people of Ukraine. And I want to thank you and for your partnership and leadership as we take on this challenge together. So I look forward to our conversation today and to continue to stand with you and all the people of Lithuania for a simple reason, the shared values and the same values set. It's important. That's what NATO is all about. That's what the Transatlantic Alliance is and you've probably heard I'm a very strong supporter of the Transatlantic Alliance. Uh, I've learned that uh, nothing happens here that doesn't affect us.